So I met John for the first time in the middle of nowhere in Tanzania. Uh, we were uh, both participating to a field work in, in the river Mara Delta. Yeah, so uh, Paolo and I met in the field um, and we're traveling long days. There we are, an expert in dragonflies and an expert in drones. And we spent a lot of days together traveling in very uncomfortable cars and roads. We actually spent more time in the field than anyone else. And uh, I watched um, Paolo um, take video footage in the field. And then all of a sudden one day he was watching me taking a footage with a drone. And, and then it sort of clicked and I thought, well, why not um, take videos um, using drones of dragonflies? Yeah, we decided, okay, why not uh, using the drones to collect dragonflies data in an innovative ways? I mean, why not? Reaching places which would be not accessible. Not only um, would the drones al allow us to go to places that, that we can't walk to, but we can also do repeatable surveys at the same spots over time. And so we can f get this information on not only on, of course, the changes of the species that are there, but also of the landscape, which is what the other thing that dr uh, drones are being used for. And then we started elaborating a little more, more and more on this idea and we came out with a project proposal that we hope we can implement and, and make a difference. So we are looking for funds uh, which uh, we believe are not really the target of the traditional donors in science. And this is because we, we bring two completely different fields together. One which is more technological and maybe more appealing to IT people and the other one which is more uh, on the ecological side. So for the reason that we also use uh, advanced technology in terms of facial recognition uh, which is more used in social media and, um, and more traditional field methods in, in ecology, we believe that uh, just more curious people which could be like the people like you listening to this video could help us to kickstart.